Hi dear friends, this is MD Alias God. Welcome to new another part of the video of Planet Automation Limited. Today I want to discuss about the topics of uh, shift register. This is a very important topic uh, of any kinds of PLC in the application of our any kinds of industry. So friends, no more late, let's start the video. is a shift register uh, first we want to describe about uh, shortly what will you have in this video right now in here what is a shift register why is it used in plc programming and application in logo plc these are very important topics are uh, not only logo plc every big plc shift register is very essential topics in any kinds of industry when you are users of any kinds of um, practical sector of conveyor belt any kinds of devices uh, which are you shifted is needed in, in the practical applications what shift register shift register are basically a type of register which have the ability to transfer or shift data register are generally storage devices which are created by connecting a specific number of flip-flops together in series and amount of data number of bits which can be stored by the register is always directly proportional to the number of flip-flops as each flip-flop is capable of storing only one bit at a time it's a flip-flops as like as latch so this is a storage. Our register is also storage. Storage uh, as like as a memory, memory types bits. It's a shift means a transfer. Okay. So friends, uh, shift register that means memory transfer. Which bits you are transfer? Which uh, kinds of pulse? Which kinds of goods are you transfer? That's it's uh, dependent on our his functions. Shift register is a uh, basically storage of your data, and then that's uh, dependent on your every any kinds of uh, devices which shift it one place to another place. This is the big facility of a shift register. So friends, uh, this is the um, typically register. Shift register basically a type of register. That means memory, as like as memory, register types or latch types. That's why it's called the flip flop. Flip flops means latched. That means uh, memory capable. It's uh, working to them very strongly. This uh, is attached. Okay. This is the ability to transfer. That means a shift. So, so place to another place so this is a shifted device any kinds of devices register are generally generally forest devices which are created by connected a specific number of flip flops suppose as one zero zero one uh, this is the your uh, last or created one to one zero zero one that means your first product is the uh, uh, shift and then two products is not shipped and a uh, number four shifted okay so friends this is the of the flip flops together in series and the amount of data which are you written which can be stored by a register is always directly proportional to the number of flip flops means one zero zero one that's a transfer to the zero one one zero this is the proportionals this is opposite as each flip flop is capable to storing only one bit at a time so friends, this is the shifting register, uh, which are uh, every second, this is a changing your memory data, which are you written, its applications will be um, applied. So many kinds of applications, the PPU, that means first in, first out, the LIPU in, last in, first out. This is the every kinds of impression of uh, shift register. And basically, this is the shift register, last in, first out, first in, last out, parallel in, parallel out, serial in, parallel out, the many kinds of which uh, sequentially maintain of our shift register this is the our big facility of any kinds of uh, plc of a shift register let's go to the next topics uh this is the shift register you know you know, like, uh, this is the written 1001 or uh, when this is clear and written is 1001 but shifted one 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 clear data okay so friends this is the data needed of your shift register is a uh, sequentially changing of your any kinds of this is your set times uh, first product is a uh, shift and then two products is not shipped and fourth number product is will be shifted this is the your break from the facility on your one one is a one that means you shifted uh, this devices and then next two is one is also this is a zero zero that means uh, this not shifted and fourth number product will be shifted this is the big facility of the shift register at this point why is it used in plc program okay this is why we are use the shift register in plc program logo shop compared to b8.1 versions this is not fast one is country it's updated versions that means uh, ethernet systems i'm working in here so friends uh, today's topics is a shift register that times we are uh, choose the our topics is a shift register in here shift registry select and uh, first we describe what is parameter of a shift register first is in that means in is uh, the function when started reads uh, this value that means a zero or one this is the digital point okay trigger this is the pulse 
triggered that means this uh, will be pulse when you were digital pulse ex exactly zero or one zero and one high or low high or low this is the triggering point and direction that is the changing of your direction that means the left right okay high and your sequentially of your uh, one zero zero one that means uh, or one zero 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 that means uh, when shift draza zero 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 one this is the shifting or opposite this is called the opposite systems when you are shifting of your data left to right or right to left this is the sequential parallel in parallel out the first in first out or last in first out this is the sequential or directions of the this parameter is the working the times okay first is the in that means the start of your programs and trigger this is the mainly pulse uh, direction is the changing of your direction here's h1 s2 s3 s4 s5 is s1 to s8 that means octal format this is shaded point when you are set of your point the times is a shifting of your dependent on your output okay the value outputs are corresponding with the configured shift register p that means this is a very important let's go to the word programming this is the mac contact mac will be second time so uh, second sensor okay three and this is a four i have the specific point is i one is connected to the in that means your program will be uh when you worry start of your devices that times it's needed in here and this is the trigger that means pulse and uh, this is the your directions okay and uh, this is your reset options and uh, this is the attached that uh, not wanted it's uh, disconnected to each another this is the main topics in here okay this is not attached this is the main topics in here first is your start point start off over the bus and uh, this is uh, right now in the start okay start okay and this is the pulse the pulse okay and uh, this is the your directions very important direction and uh, this is your reset point number four is reset point okay reset your this is the reset point okay number four is reset point. going to this way or shift register that means sf one all is sf six special functions so right now we are going to write this in here is one that means shift register bit this is the bit counted okay we are control of our output by bit of a special function shift register okay s1.1 this uh, is needed in here and then go to the s2 and uh, that's dependent on your beat output beat okay beats working for the four bits okay that's why we are output my contact for a shift register is four okay then go to the output this is the control of, of your output as like a solenoid ball you get some sensor which is sense of your devices that's uh, needed for the of your shifting working for the shift this mac contact for is 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 that means uh to uh to the four four that means 16 times it's uh, changing okay this is the s 1.1 shift register okay is this a 1.1 this is a 1 2.1 that times is 2.1 2.2 2.3 is the auxiliary control and then is 0.4 and uh, this is a 4.1 it's absolutely dependent on your programming sequence so firstly we are easily described for the one sequence okay so friends this is the our programming sequence uh, for the four output or four bits basically it's the control of your solenoid bulb and right of this program is in here this is a solenoid bulb of any kind of bulb in here solenoid bulb okay which is control of your output also need in here solenoid four solenoid bulbs in right in here solenoid bulb solenoid bulb and of solenoid bulb okay the four shifted output that's uh, dependent on your output kinds of output we get control of you by your or by whatever by now we want to start the simulations okay friends first time see it's a uh, false and you do the in here this is my contract and then go to that this is the your program is run right now is uh, run right now in here or that means your uh, device is active on your sense i2 that means pulse you are giving to the pulse in in the time so which will be going on that's the uh, we want to see the other uh, shift is changing yeah, after by after okay so friends uh, let's go to the point q1 when when we sense to the i2 that means pulse uh, that times q1 is on then again when i2 is sense that times q2 is on okay and when we are sense to the i2 that times it's q3 again q3 is on and then go to the q4 that means sequentially four devices or four goods is um, sequentially is right after in and now we want to changing of our directions the times here is uh, go to the off and direction is on and then go to the i2 the Q4 is off again. Q3 is off. Q2 is uh, off, and Q1 is off. That means it is sequentially off. Okay, last in first out. Last in first out. Q1 is on. Q2 is on. That means the uh, one one zero zero. This is uh, one 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 zero. All is one shifted. This is the after by after changing of your output, and then go to the Q4 is off, 
and again q3 is off q2 is off q1 is off that means last in first out okay this is the of your sequences in it is after by after will be changing of your devices again q2 on q3 on q4 on then when we are pressed to the i4 that times is both uh, every output is will be off that means this is the previous conditions okay so the reset point or i4 is working for that time so this is the reset point basically okay after by after all parameter is working uh, for this uh, shift register and this is sense uh, of our these devices and then go to this it's some um, devices in here and uh, this is the sensor is the sensor of our these devices the times uh, is um, one uh, one devices the q1 is on that means uh, uh, sorry not bulb is off for one good on bulb is on the time q2 that means the uh, second goods is on the passes and then the trial see this will be off and for the ready for the third devices again okay. so friends this is the sensing for this third devices the after by after it will be four is counted and this is off right now i will change the directions for the opposite that means the last in first out four is counted and then go to the i off in here our basically two times of devices in here when sense the directions of um, second times at times and then off and the three times okay the bulb is on with three sense that means the q to his sense okay and then go to the bulb is off right now for the first down that's why q1 is in bulb is on okay so friends this is the main topics of uh, our shift register for the direction opposite that means the uh, last in first hour this is the main topics of um, for any kinds of uh, devices which are users of uh, any kinds of comparables or uh, shifted or monitor uh, for any kinds of device times so we are easily users of uh, the devices of um, useful function of uh, any kinds of PLC programming system so friends uh, follow the next video tutorials till then love dear viewers if you like video of planet automation limited Please subscribe the channel and then click the bell icon. This process will never miss another new update.